Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show Live Market Review of the QQQ. Thought I would do a video today, and I taped the room today, actually, so people can hear what I said about the market this morning. Although I have several market calls for the last um, last week and week and a half in here. I almost did a video last night. I was just too tired after I did the webinar, but I did talk about the market after the live webinar last night. And this market is higher. It, this, this is new money coming into the market. This is a time to be buying the market, and it's when everyone is saying that it's extended and the move is up is over and the people are thinking that they should sell out or the market's going to crash. And there's just been so many erroneous things that people are saying out there about this market. I have called this market amazingly well. I will continue to do so because I'm staying in my own space and reading the gaps and reading the price action of what I'm seeing here in all the gaps that are in the market, just like I do in my stocks. You can learn the gap rating system to trade the market and to figure out and calculate ETFs and what the moves are going to be doing. So the reality is that uh, the market is higher, definitively higher. Great call I made to say that the market would have a big green bar in it this week. And I even said I saw that it would be setting up today and the market's higher here. It's going to make a new high now into the lunchtime period here now today and make its way to the next target. 103.50 was one of the targets. The market hit it this morning very quickly. Next target is 103.75 and 104 for the QQQs. And it's only Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. I had given 110 uh, in the lecture I did last night. And I think I said that one of the videos for the target that I, the queues will hit before the end of the calendar year, uh, you know, after today we're less than we're six, we'll be six dollars away from that. There is a possibility that um, this market could just continue to rally actually till Thanksgiving. I think it's a stretch to say one ten before Thanksgiving because it's only a week away. But I think one ten before the end of the calendar year is realistic. But the market is just so strong, so so strong. So 110 is the target in the QQQ for the end of 2014. However, the shorts aren't going to let up. They are not going to give it up. And they're not even giving it up now. Or this would look different. Okay. Uh, so what I see playing out here is not until 2015 are the shorts going to give it up where people are going to stop shorting this market. And when the shorts finally, finally give it up, well, it was going to be a huge push for the market that will continue higher. But in September, it's November, two months ago, maybe more than that. I don't remember when I first did that video. I said in the next four to six months, the market's going to make a big move, a move that no one's going to be expected, a big, big move that's going to carry through until 2015. And it's going to carry through until all of the entire calendar year for 2015. The market's going to rally and be bullish. That's what I'm seeing how it plays out unless something changes, which if it does, I'll see it on the live day because I'm a day trader and I read gaps in the live day and I read the gap in the market this morning is bullish. And even though I know that many, many people think this is extended and I understand why people think this is extended, that helps me to see what I know clearer, okay, when I see what other people are looking at. I get it, okay. But the foundational basis for my decision making and calling this market long, which has turned out to be correct and is continuing to do so and hitting every target that I'm saying, is gaps. Okay, So I am reading the gaps in the QQQs to call this market and the numbers that I'm seeing for it to follow through. I know the market has run up here now for, let's count the days. Let's, let's just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25 days. That's more than a month. And there's less than five, less than you can count on one hand of red bars in that market in, in that 25 calendar days. 25 calendar days, the market's been green and it rallied up and it's had less than five red days in between, which are barely of any significance. And I know that means people think it's extended. Therefore, people say, well, therefore, it has to come in. It doesn't have to do anything. Market doesn't have to do anything but trade. <clears throat> okay, that's a misnomer. It's also a misnomer that if something is going hard in one direction, that it has to reverse. That's a misnomer. Now, the fact is that things don't go in a straight line forever. That's true, but it's not about pullbacks. It's really actually not the correct way to take an entry position in something or read the directional bias. Someone was asking me today in the room a very important question about pivots. 
And I said, I was trying to think of the significance that I even give pivots. I guess I was realizing that I'm giving them less and less and less significance as time goes on because my read of price, my actual read analysis of the price of something is becoming so honed in, so clear that I, there's really, I, you don't need to use pivots. <clears throat> they serve a purpose that you could use to help you if need be, but it's not a decision-making process. Now let's go over this market. Oops. Um, the market open, open and rallied, rallied up, rallied, and here it goes. All the way up, nice movement here this morning. I said this morning early, very, very early, you could have bought the market aggressively. And I said you could have bought the market right out of the gate. You could have bought the market aggressively, and you could have. You could have bought the market today in a one-minute high with a 10-penny stop. <laughs> Look at that huge trade all the way up, 6-hour trade, right up into 10 o'clock, 10, 15 reversal time. That is a gorgeous setup, gorgeous. And I said that you could do that this morning in the room, and a couple people did. So really nice bullish move here for the market. Look for follow through here this afternoon, and we'll see where it goes. We'll see just where it goes here, and we'll watch it and do a recap maybe later today or tomorrow. The market is higher. Great call I made here in this market for the QQQs this morning. Great call. I've been making the market all this calendar year and even last year in 2013. And the market's not going to crash. The market is higher. I'm reading the gaps. That's how I know that. I understand why people think it's extended, but they're not looking at the right information. The information that I'm reading is accessible. I'm seeing the same thing as other people as far as the quality of the information, but I'm picking out of there the right things to look at, which is how I'm predicting what it's going to do before it does it. I'm able to do that because I'm looking at the same information as someone else, but I'm looking at the right things, and they're not looking at the right things. So I understand what they're looking at, but that's not what I'm looking at. And that's how I'm able to call things so far in advance. Like, like this market. This market call that I made, I did the first swing trade letter was on the QQQs. It's probably going to be turned out to be one of the best calls I've ever made in, in my whole trading career so far today because I saw something that was going to happen so far in advance. Spectacular. So for the people that signed up already for the swing trade letter for November that have gotten that letter, and if you still want to sign up for November, you can still sign up and I'll backdate the letter for November because it's a monthly letter. Uh, it's you know, we'll see where this goes, but so far it's hit all the numbers I've said and really just a fantastic call that I've made in this market. So if anyone's interested in learning how to trade gaps or reading the market or reading stocks and gaps and learning how to trade as a day trader or a swing trader, email me at melissathestockswish.com. The class is this coming weekend, November 22nd and 23rd. I'm only doing one more before the end of the year, and if you want to learn how to trade before 2015, the time to do it is now. The time is now. Right now, when I'm here, that I'm touching your life, that you can learn to trade from me because there will become a time when I won't be having individual conversations with people and people will not be able to reach out to me and speak to me personally. So the time to learn is now because I'm the one that created this information and I know how to trade. And so take the opportunity and consider what I'm saying here with a level of seriousness. Good job here today, everyone that did the calls I made today. And I will see everyone in the room tomorrow morning. Have a great day.